Sexual immorality will lead you to hell. Tuesday, April 19, 2011 at 11.50 p.m. My daughter, as the world divides into different divisions, those who live simple and orderly lives, some in wealth and peace, those who are afflicted through poverty and illness or who are victims of war, and those in power, all will witness the very same forthcoming events in wonder. Many will see ecological catastrophes as the hand of God. Others will say that they are a sign of the end times, while others will say that it all has to do with global warming. But what is most important now at this time is to understand this. Sin, if it escalates to unprecedented levels, will cause destruction in your orderly lives anyway. But when it intensifies to the current levels experienced and witnessed by all of you in the world today then you can be assured that such catastrophes will be the hand of God at work. God the Eternal Father has already responded and acted in this way. Now, as the time approaches to destroy Satan and his followers, further ecological unrest will be unleashed by God, in his mercy. He will do this to prevent Satan and all his corrupt human puppets, who salivate at the prospects of the riches and glory he promises them through his psychological powers. Satan instills evil thoughts and actions in souls weak enough to expose themselves to his possessive powers. Such people share common traits. They are self-centered, obsessed with worldly ambitions and wealth and are addicted to sexual deviations and power. All will end up in hell, if they continue to follow the glorification of the Antichrist, who is about to make himself known in the world. Many innocent people do not believe in Satan, the Antichrist, or indeed, in God the Father Almighty. So they turn a blind eye. Yet, they wonder why the very society they live in has collapsed. They don't understand the frightening speed at the collapse of the traditional family unit. They put this down to the ills of modern society. What they don't know is that Satan targets the family as a priority. This is because he knows if the family collapses then society too collapses. Many do know this because it is becoming increasingly apparent in the world today. Then look at sexual immorality. You wonder how horribly society has been infested with this depravity. Yet again, what you don't realize is that Satan is responsible for every single act of obscene immorality in the world. While those of you, caught up in a world of promiscuity, sexual deviation and abuse of others, will argue that these acts are a source of amusement and in some cases a form of income, you must know they will be your passport to the eternal flames of hell. For every depraved sexual act you participate in, so too will your body, even though you will be in spirit, burn as if in the flesh, for eternity. Each part of the human body you abuse through mortal sin will suffer the most pain in the fires of hell. Why would you want this? Many of you poor, deluded souls don't realize that you have never been told the truth, the truth that there does exist heaven, purgatory and hell. Many of my well-meaning sacred servants of the churches have not emphasized these teachings for a very long time. Shame on them. I cry for their anguish because many of them do not really believe in hell themselves. So how can they preach about the horror that is hell? They can't, because many have opted for the easy answer. God is ever merciful. He would never send you to hell. Would he? The answer is no, he doesn't. That is true because he could never turn his back on his children. But the reality is that many, many souls blocked by the mortal sin they have been enticed to commit, become addicted to their sins time and time again, over and over. They are in so much darkness, comfortable within their own immorality, that they continue to choose this darkness even after death. They cannot be saved then. They have chosen this path by their own free will, a gift from God, which he cannot interfere with. 
but Satan can. And he does. Choose which life you want, the path of life towards God the Eternal Father to heaven, or Satan, the deceiver, in the fires of eternal hell. There is no clearer way of explaining the outcome to you, my children. It is because of my love and compassion, that I must teach you the truth. This message is meant to frighten you somewhat, because unless I show you what is in store for them, I would not be revealing my true love for all of you. It is time to face up to the future, not only for yourself, but for those friends, family and loved ones whom you influence through your own behavior. Behavior breeds behavior. In the case of an innocent, you could unwittingly be guiding and leading them, also, on the pathway to eternal darkness through ignorance. Look after your soul. It is a gift from God. It is all you will take with you into the next world. Your Savior. Jesus Christ.